Hi, everyone. Mark Gargo here from My Hockey Live alongside Art Egerton and waiting on uh, Mr. Paul McNamara. Mac should be here just about any minute, but we got a great matinee for you today with uh, Malden Catholic. The Lancers coming in at 10-0-2, number one in the state. They're squaring off against the Hendrickson Hawks out of Rhode Island. Hendrickson coming in at 11-1 and, and uh, certainly looking to make their way back to the Rhode Island uh, state championship as they won it last in 2012. So a very uh, good team here, a good matchup for the Lancers. Obviously, they are still unblemished. We had them uh, last week against St. John's Prep, where the Prep uh, was able to skate to a 2-2 tie as uh, Baldwin Catholic was able to get uh, their wheels in motion uh, starting in the second period, uh, trailing 2 to nothing, and uh, were able to skate away with a 2-2 tie in that one and uh, certainly uh, looking forward to a couple of games coming up. They'll play Franklin tomorrow afternoon. And then the big tilt against BC High on Tuesday night. So that should be a real good one. That will also be broadcast here on My Hockey Live. So be sure to tune in on uh, Tuesday night uh, for that one. A lot of games going on around the state today. So again, uh, be sure uh, to check MyHockeyLive.com for all your updates. All the scores, standings, rankings, etc. We're also going to be bringing you tonight at 8, 10 p.m. Uh, Southeastern West Bridgewater Hawks against the Sacred Heart Saints. Sacred Heart uh, having a real good season there with Coach down there and his Paul McNamara. Paul just uh, arriving here uh, as the buzzer gets ready to sound for game time. So, Paul, welcome, welcome aboard to the uh, Hendrickson Hawks and the MC Lancers. For the face-off, anyway, uh, and it's nice to see Malden Catholic Good afternoon, everybody. white Welcome uniforms with numbers we can read. Malden Catholic and Bishop Hendrickson. Good sportsmanship is one of the primary purposes of educational athletes. Our student athletes. Yeah, I got to talk to Coach Kramer uh, earlier here, and uh, they're off to an 11 one start, 11 one and 0. Oh, so uh, should should see a strong matchup uh, here for Malden Catholic Ball. This year, no different than Hendrickson with their no, only loss on the year, I believe, to Springfield Cathedral. Yeah, Hendrickson having beaten St. Charles already twice uh, this year. So 2-0 and against Mount St. Charles. And uh, Hendrickson will play Del Barton on Friday night out in uh, Springfield. We hope to be out there for that one. So a uh, lot of great hockey coming up as we uh, get down the stretch here. Tender, uh, the defense pairing there is uh, Bryce, Bryce Dolan and Jason Como. And at right wing, number 21, yeah, Andrew Hopkins. Up front, they'll start Riley Miller in the, the middle. Uh, uh, head coach, Jim Graham. Along with Andrew Hopkins. And now the Lancers of Molly Catholic. And uh, number 10, Patrick Kramer. Brian Cannata. And Molly Catholic's going to start the third goaltender today, Brian Cannata. Pat Harrington. I knew Reese's wasn't playing. I assumed it was going to be Casey, but they're go as you said, they're going to go with the freshman out of Wakefield, Massachusetts. Kanata, Brian Kanata getting his, his start here. Austin Goldstein. And he does have uh, some experience this year. He's played in the game earlier. And, and it's an he looks pretty good. And, uh, and, uh, they're going to give him the start today. And uh, no surprise among the and other right starters here. Eight. With uh, Both the captain, Lawrence Jake and Harrington starting on defense. And the Matt Philippe line with Philippe in the middle. Austin Goldstein and uh, Jake Witkowski. Yeah, a couple of injuries here for the Lancers with uh, Justin Collins and McLean out. We'll get ready for the anthem here.
I'm sorry. We were in big, is it? Is, is this all right? Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. The dean of discipline. You want to come up yeah. here? Yeah. You know what? I'll go down at the. You sure? Sorry. Thanks. We're in the way of the camera. <laughs> All right, readjusting our view up here uh, at center ice. The catbird seat, Paul. Yeah, we're right in the red line now, Mark. So we're all set. <laughs> yeah. Don't want to get in our way here. That's more important. The pictures are a lot more important than our words, that's for sure. Uh, absolutely. It should be a great uh, picture to watch today. Uh, two very talented teams, two of the best teams probably in the country, Paul. Yeah, I mean, when you when you add up the uh, the records here, it's 21-1-2 and two between the two teams. So, you know, they're not, neither one of these teams is uh, used to not walking out of a rink. No, uh, both the play very, very difficult schedules as well. So, Off the opening faceoff, it comes back into the Marlin Catholic end. Uh, Lawrence now quickly up the right wing through Witkowski's. Uh, he, he redirects it in, and Philippe first on it behind the net. Watch there uh, by the Hendrick and... Uh, uh, forward there, that's Riley Miller, the center, and now Philippe on it in the far corner. Witkowski supports and a shot towards the net, redirected wide. Goldstein tips it back to Harrington. Goldstein with it again, trying to find Witkowski. Chris crossing into the left wing corner. Witkowski deep into the corner, leaves it for Philippe, quickly back to Harrington. One timer is deflected wide. Good job there by the goaltender, Kim Dumaney, to see that one all the way. Philippe now on it in the corner. Watched again by uh, Riley Miller, the center, playing down low here. Philippe with it again with some ice. Back to Lawrence, one time quick, quick shot. It's loose in the crease and covered up by Dumaney. And bodies go flying there as pounding away was Goldstein. And uh, he could push from behind by Brace Dolan, just trying to cover up. But uh, Dumaney had that puck secure. Yeah, nice job by Dumaney to keep that puck uh, down tight between the pads. The pads tight and, uh, you know, a little different start here for the Lancers uh, today, Paul, than what we saw against St. John's Prep. They absolutely. came out flying and Pat Harrington getting a couple of opportunities there. Yeah, absolutely, Mark. Good point. Uh, MC has been guilty a little bit of uh, slow starts this year, but certainly not here. So they've, they've got it in the uh, Hendrickson end. This is big Jack Adams trying to cycle down to Botticelli. Picking it off there is Ryan King. Hendrickson centers do a good job of playing deep and uh, helping out the defense. Now sent the length of the ice. Icing is waved off as uh, King will give chase for Hendrick and King and Yanakopoulos go tumbling to the backboards. Comes behind the net again. Yanakopoulos will send it up the left wing for White. White can't get it by uh, the defense of Dumont, but Dumont's shot is blocked and MC goes the other way. Botticelli on the go. On the backhand, a, a backhand one-hander goes over the net. Uh, nice rush to the air, yeah, absolutely. Is uh, Matt had a lot of speed coming up that uh, Right wing and uh, just flipped it up over the top of the crossbar. Good play by Dumont to send it in deep and change on the fly. Brandon Mitchell, 25 in there, four checking for Hendrickson, but uh, MC sends it the length of the ice and a fortuitous bounce off the boards goes right in on Dumaney and he has to cover up. Yeah, Dumaney having to make that uh, save there and taking the face off in his own zone, but uh, Malden Catholic able to uh, change up on the back line here and uh, they'll send out uh, their third line for the first time tonight, Paul. Yeah, Thomas Albert getting some more ice time with uh, Justin Collins out with an injury. Um, Albert has stepped up and he's he's seen a lot. He's almost like a utility role and he's playing center here with Cam Walter on one side and uh, looks like Corey Goldstein on the other side. Corey Goldstein missed last game too. So MC getting some bodies back but still without some regulars. This is Walter who carries it over the red line, dumps it in deep, quickly back on it. Uh, uh, getting there first is, uh, is uh, Albert for MC. They check him off the play, and on it now is number nine, Alex Leet for Hendricken. Hendricken able to get it to center under the stick of 14, Clay Audette. But the whistle goes now as uh, Puck jumps out of the, out of the uh, ice area into the uh, MC bench area, and the whistle will come with 12.21 to go. Just underway, first period of play, no score. Yeah, Hawks coach is very high on uh, Audette. Uh, he can play uh, both forward and defense. They've used him, uh, moved him around a little bit during the year, and... Uh, Really liking what they're seeing out of uh, the big junior. Philippe is sent away down the middle. Philippe right in and a save by Dumaney. Rebound save by Dumaney off the stick of Austin Goldstein. Philippe just kept on going through the defense there and uh, shook off a checker and got a, a, a good shot in on Dumaney who is into the game very quickly. Yeah, we've seen Philippe do that a couple of times this year. I don't think the Hawks realized how much speed he has. Off the face off Lawrence with a shot blocked off the uh, stick of uh, Andrew Hopgood. 
Uh, the whistle goes. We're going to get a hand pass call on Witkowski trying to hand pass it to Philippe. And the faceoff's going to come outside the zone. 12.02 to go in the opening period of play here from the Marlin Valley Forum. Uh, Bishop Hendrick and the Hawks out of Rhode Island in green, skating left to right. And Marlin Catholic in their home white uniforms from right to left. On the draw, it's Riley Miller for Hendrick and with Philippe. Philippe wins it back to Lawrence. Quickly over to uh, Harrington, who goes the width of the rink over to Witkowski. Dumps it in deep. Hendrick and now will start the breakout here. This is Dumond. Dumont trying to get it up to Riley Miller, but he can't control, and Lawrence quickly back on it for MC. Good pinch here by uh, Dumont, number 24 for Hendrickson to keep it in deep, but Lawrence quickly on it again to Harrington. Harrington gets away from a four check by Andrew Hopgood. They swing it around to Lawrence. He can't get it up to Witkowski as Miller does a good job four checking, and finally, the Lance is able to get it to center ice. This is Will Lawrence over the red line and dumps deep. Yeah, it's first time Hendrickson was able to keep any pressure uh, in the uh, offensive zone, so they're starting to find themselves a little bit here, Paul. Waterman up to Miller. Miller has to change. His, most of his line has changed. And now Matt Shula will go back and get it for MC and come up the left wing to Brendan White. White in the, mid in the middle goes all the way over to Jack Adams, who turns and fires it in. Dumaney leaves it behind the net. Good forecheck by Botticelli for MC, but Hendrickson able to get it up the right wing to Sam Milnes. Or Milnes, rather. And now this is number 11, Ryan King, dumping it in deep for Hendrick. And Milnes on it there. Milnes can't find the handle. And uh, back on it for MC is uh, Botticelli. But Botticelli's uh, swing up the left wing doesn't clear. Yanakopoulos now bounces it off the boards for Adams. Adams loses momentarily and picks it up again. Good forecheck over there by Ryan King. King's shot goes well wide. And... Brendan White will swing back for MC. The left wing behind his own net. Leaves it over for Adams who chips it up off the boards and White trying to slay through uh, number four, Jason Camo. Yeah, Brendan White, all six, two of them there using his size. Both players, uh, both teams a lot of size. Cam Walter now trying to get it over to Corey Goldstein. Goldstein with it. Goldstein swings it away deep into the corner to Cam Walter. Walter works hard behind the net. He's got Shula back at the point. Matt Shula through a screen. Nice save by Dumaney. The right pad of Cam Dumaney. Yeah, Dumaney seeing the bulk of the shots early on here. Uh, Paul, probably five shots on net for MC. Steal by uh, Corey Goldstein. Goldstein with a puck and some ice. Turns and fires off the stick of Ryan King. MC keeps control in the Hendrick and end. And they double team uh, on the forecheck near side. King has been out there a long time. Number 11, the center. And now Albert can't find the handle they get it off of King's body and King will carry it off the boards in deep. Yeah, we're gonna get an ice here Paul uh, not quite gaining that center ice uh, red line and uh, dumps it in for uh, an icing call but uh, you know seems like Hendrick is starting to get their legs underneath him here in this matinee and uh, a couple of good shifts uh, over the past couple of minutes. Hendrick is shortening the bench here they send Riley Miller's line right back out there with Creamer and Hopgood not a long rest for them, so maybe coach trying to match lines or just uh, get these guys going a little more. This is a fourth line out here for MC, and uh, they've seen some great action this year as well. Harrington through the screen, never makes it all the way through, and now yeah. Kramer trying to get it in for Hendrickson. Harrington quickly back to steal it away from Patrick Kramer, and they get it up the left wing side for Sullivan. Tom Sullivan now over the line. Long wrister in, saved by Dumaney. That was a tester right there. DeMichael is now on the backboards, taking two Hendrickson guys to try to get it away from him. Picked away by 22, Eric Edwards, but MC still on the forecheck, and now finally Riley Miller pitchforks it up for his left wing, Kramer, but they can't get it out of the zone. Yeah, just great tenacity by the Lancers here in the first period. Great forecheck, just eight minutes and 30 seconds remaining in the first. Edwards got it over to Dolan, who got it in, but MC right back out. Matt Shuler, the defenseman, knocks it right into the Hendrickson bench. And uh, the whistle will come with 8.22 remaining. First period of play, no score. Yeah, no score. A little more up and down the past couple of shifts here. And uh, you know, both teams, uh, you know, a lot of size on both uh, rosters. You go up and down uh, the rosters here. And, uh, you know, there's uh, some formidable uh, 
Size a tra players out there. Trainer Paul. making her way over to the Hendrick and bench. Maybe somebody got nicked up over there. Might have been. Wow, when looks like Fel oh, okay. Oh, Philippe, Philippe was, was helping her over. Yeah, was okay. escorting the trainer. Yeah, that hit down in the corner there, maybe Paul. Or it might have been the uh, the flip shot into the bench area by oh, Shula. Possibly, might have yeah. picked off somebody who wasn't looking. Canada now stops it behind the net. Brian Canada getting the uh, start in net for MC today. Shula with it behind the net will bank it off the boards for Hopkins. Hopkins with some time, no forecheck here. Hopkins now rink with for Witkowski, tries to hammer it right through the body of Clay Audette. Witkowski now hustles back, but Hendrickine has it at the line. Brandon Mitchell over the line. He'll circle, looks for help. Uh, high in the slot, shot is redirected. The, that came off the stick of number nine, Alex Leet. Leet with it in the far corner. Now Shula, good leverage there to uh, keep Clay Audette out of the play. and. Uh, they fall on it there, Shula does, and the whistle will come. Yeah, Face Alex up. Lee, nice shot there, and he had, uh, as you said, big uh, big number 14, Clayton Audette, standing right in front of the goaltender. So I don't know how much of uh, that Kanata saw, but uh, he did make the save, and uh, first real test for him uh, here in the first period. Real nice play by Mitchell to go down and slow it down, circle, and, and uh, Lee found some area in the high slot there, and he was open, and that's, as you said, Mark, the first real chance they've had. MC breaks it out white over the line, two on two with Adams, throws it towards the net. Adams covered there by uh, number six, Tim Poole, and so he was no factor at the time. Now Henrikin breaks it out, long pass up intended for Mills, but retreating and picking it up is Harrington. He looks for the long pass for Adams, and this will be icing as that one goes um, incomplete uh, on the coach, long coach outlet. Mc coach McLean, uh Swears that hit Adams' stick, but uh, it did not you know, uh, in the did. officials. Yeah, we heard something, but yeah. nonetheless, the officials are going to call that one icing. Yeah. Good first period for Pat Harrington. He looks real good uh, back there. Paul, obviously, without his line mate, McLean, so uh, moving it around pretty well. John McLean walking John by us there. right now with the aid of some crutches and working on that ankle, trying to get back in the lineup. Eric Edwards now dumps it far corner, but MC able to take it away from Mills, and coming the other way is Botticelli. They've got a three-on-three. Shot by Adams, redirected and goes wide. That looked closer than it was. Domini yeah, Brendan White that. was able to get a stick on that and to reflect it closer to the net. Oh, what a nice play by Botticelli to White, and White scores. There you go, White getting the goal. Uh, we were just talking about him. Uh, Brendan White just uh, missing out on one opportunity on the deflection, but uh, certainly taking advantage of that second opportunity. So the junior out of Medford, Massachusetts, Puts Malden Catholic up one to nothing. 6.50 remaining in the first period. And, uh, you know, just a good scrappy line by the white Botticelli Adams line there, Paul. Yeah, Adams uh, creates space because he's a big kid. And uh, Botticelli got it up high. And, you know, I think maybe Dumaney might have thought Botticelli was going to take that backhander from 10 feet. But he had white cruising right in front. And he, uh, he just dumped it down to him. And Dumaney had made the move. So MC takes the lead. 8-10 into the first period. I'm sure it will be white from Botticelli and Adams. 8-10 of the first period by number 14, Brendan White, assisted by number 26, Nick Botticelli, and number two, Jack Adams. And 8-10 of the first. Yeah, so all two line mates get an assist there. So it's white from Botticelli and Adams. And uh, Malden Catholic going up one to nothing. And what's been a very good game so far, Paul? Yeah, Dumaney has uh, had most of the action so far. MC, we don't have shot counts, but MC out shooting... Hendrickson by a wide margin at this point, and it pays off about halfway through. And now we do see one of the uh, Hendrickson players, it's number 24, Steve Dumont, headed to the locker room for hopefully just uh, a quick little touch-up, and he'll be back. But yeah, I did look across. Looked like the trainer was working on his shoulder. Here's a turnover. Here's a turnover, as you said, Mark, right in front of uh, Kanata, and a, and a heads-up play there by Hopgood to take advantage of that and get a wrister in on Kanata, his best stop of the period. Yeah, sophomore not wasting any time there, finding the puck on his stick gratuitously and taking a nice real quick wrist shot. But uh, I like that. Gratuitously, <laughs> but Kanata making the save. Alex Leet now on the draw here with Matt Philippe, and Philippe is motioned out of there, I think, and Goldstein's gonna step in and take the draw. Goldstein ties up Leet uh, and clears the puck. He looks for Witkowski on the far side. Witkowski will give a little bump over there to number six, Tim Poulin. And the Lance is able to come up with it in their own zone. Under six minutes to play, first period. MC with a one nothing lead. MC dumps it in deep left wing corner. Back on it there for Hendrickson is uh, number 14, Audette. 
trying to work it around to Brandon Mitchell. They're kind of going the wrong way here for the moment. Lawrence steps into a clearing pass and lets a wrister go that uh, Dumaney able to glove pretty easily there. Yeah, Cameron Dumaney, the uh, senior goaltender, uh, able to see all of that one, Paul, but uh, still throw it at the net. You never know. Get the puck there, look for a rebound. He hasn't given out too many rebounds, so he's been pretty no, solid. That, that's a good point, Mike. He's not a not a guy that gives rebounds, and uh, that's a good thing. Your defense loves it when that happens. Yeah, well, you and I were at the bean pot the other night. We saw what that cost Harvard. What was it about 59 shots on net? Because there's a lot of rebounds in that one. Yeah, he, uh, the kid Mihalik played a great, great game. But, you know, he just uh, there's a long shot in deflected wide off of Will Lawrence's stick. Harrington, good job to support, but can't get it deep. And now Hendrick and clears, and they wave off the icing as White goes back to get it. White forecheck there by Brandon Waterman, number seven. MC able to clear, but this is now this is waved oh, off. No, this no, one. There you go. That looked like more what's, of an icing than the last one. What's good for one team is good for yeah. another. Trying to pitch fork it up is Camo. Sullivan on it there gets it to DeMichael, uh, rather to Goldstein. Corey Goldstein, nice check over there by uh, Camo. And Hendrick comes the other way. Ryan King over the red line, right wing side. King into the zone, tries to go through two or three guys and. Maybe at that point you get a shot on net, you know, you just. Yeah, you would think so. Uh, to, again, try to throw it at the net. Had a lot of bodies out in front. Could have created an opportunity, but uh, lost control of the puck. Dolan over to Edwards up to Creamer, trying to leave it for Riley Miller. Intercepted by Goldstein. Gets it to Albert. Albert over the line. He's one on five for the moment. So he smartly dumps it deep. Cam Walter can't catch up to it. Nice play by Albert to uh, keep the puck moving forward. And now it's loose left wing corner. Hendrick and trying to find the handle here and it's knocked back up on the side, over the sideboards into the netting. Yeah, nice shift there by number 17, Thomas Albert, the sophomore out of Reading, Massachusetts. As you said, uh, getting a little more ice time uh, because of some of the injuries. And we saw him last week at St. John's, had a couple of nice shifts there uh, in the third period as well. So I think they're expecting uh, a he lot works, out of, yeah, out of he, Thomas. He really works hard. I mean, he, he knows the way he's going to get more ice time is just by working his tail off for 30 or 40 seconds. Philippe wins the draw back to Harrington. He'll dump it down deep looking for Goldstein. Witkowski hurries over to get it away from Como, a Como. And now Mitchell can't get it out for Hendrickson, and uh, it's knocked down deep by Witkowski. Goldstein with it, cycles to Witkowski with some room. Witkowski looking for Goldstein up high as Philippe was camped out on the crease, and now it's knocked up into the uh, netting near side with 3.35 to go opening period of play and MC leading it one to nothing. Yeah, good idea there by Witkowski, the senior, uh, very heady player anyway, but uh, threw it right across the front of the net there, hoping to hit a skate, a body, a stick, anything. And, uh, yeah, and he got Matt Philippe in there. Was, uh, not a little kid in front of the net. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Can't go wrong when he's on the ice. Just throw it out there somewhere. He'll get to it. Botticelli on the draw with Smith. Goes back to Lawrence through a screen. Not sure Domaney ever saw that one. Yeah, that might have gone off of Adams' uh, shaft of his stick. Adams with it to the left of Domaney. There's a stick down on the ice. Uh, Riley Smith, uh, Riley Miller rather, without a uh, without a stick. Riley Smith on the Bruins. Riley Miller is yeah. number 19 yeah. on Hendrickson. He now he gets his stick. There's Adams in front trying oh, to redirect. Save. Great save by Domaney as Adams. Boy, big left pad coming out there uh, at the last second, and we're going to get our first penalty of the game. Looks like we got a holding call uh, coming here, and uh, yeah, it's going to be uh, number four, number Jason four, Como. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Como, the senior, uh, going to take the first penalty of the game. 3:06 remaining in the first period, so that comes at 11:54, uh, and um, yeah, faceoff will come to the left here. I didn't see the, the infraction, but. Referee was right there, and uh, here's Philippe manning the right point on this uh, power play setup. They've got Adams and Sullivan and uh, Goldstein up front. Harrington and Philippe on the points. Harrington walks to the middle. One-timer by Philippe, redirected. It's loose in the crease. It's still loose, and uh, Witkowski can't come up with it there. And Boy, what a nice play there by Sam Milnes. Sam able to not only get the puck into the corner, but able to turn it and flip it all the way down the end of the ice and get a uh, change for his forwards. Yeah, excellent hockey play right there, Mark, as you say. There's Goldstein headed to the net at about 100 miles an hour. They get it back to Philippe, right point, walks to the middle. Philippe down low for Goldstein, left wing corner, back to Harrington, one-timer well wide off the uh, stick of Eric Edwards. 
with it again is Goldstein. We're down to 37 seconds on the man advantage from Molly Catholic. A one-timer by Philippe and a save yeah, by Dumaney. That Dumaney. hit Dumaney up high. Uh, that might have stung him a little bit. He's shaking his head a little, but uh, got him in the chest. But, boy, that was a high shot. Goldstein left wing corner. Cross ice to Witkowski, a wrister. I think it went off Dumaney and then off the crossbar and high up into the netting. Yeah, off the goaltender's glove and then right off the crossbar and high up into the netting. Didn't quite hit the roof like last week, Paul. We saw a few ah, we'll get one of those ceiling, too. But we'll get one, sure, <laughs> absolutely. 155, 20 seconds remaining on the power play here. And uh, I'll tell you, this looks territorially like that BU power play in overtime against Harvard. Yeah, Hendrick, the other Hendrick is looking for the faceoff to come outside the uh, line here, but it did go off the goaltender's glove, I believe, and I think that's yeah, that's what yep, it looked like from yep. here. And that explanation, the official Coach said, Kramer, sure. is uh, sufficient. Coach Kramer says okay. Adams back to uh, Lawrence over to Shula. He thinks better of it with Brandon Waterman in the shooting lane. We're down to 11 seconds now on the uh, man advantage for MC. Adams with it, far side. He's watched closely by Ryan King. Over to, uh, oh, oh Bonicelli missed a four by six there oh, on a great boy. setup by Alberts. Albert put a rate on his stick and I think Bonicelli couldn't believe how open the net was and just uh, missed it. Penalty to is the right over. Side of the post. It's even strength, but here they come again. Botticelli trying to get it into the middle. Nice play there by number six, Tim Poole, and the defenseman for Hendrickson to block that pass. And Botticelli now skates by Poole, and Adams with it back to Lawrence through a screen. It goes wide with yeah, Botticelli. The Hawks need to get a change here. Coach is yelling them to ice it, and he does. Uh, they needed a. They needed. A, yeah. <laughs> those boys were gassed. <laughs> they were gassed, and MC wasn't. And they would. <laughs> Botticelli, uh, not the happiest guy in the building on that one as he was set up so well and uh, Dumaney had to go to Alberts and he was about five feet away from being where he had to be and Botticelli was right in the crease. Yeah, pay dirt was uh, in his vision, but nice feed by Albert though. Harrington looks, takes a little elbow Wonder here from uh, Andrew Hopgood just for good measure. Now uh, tripped up there oh, is no uh, Witkowski, there, yeah. no call. And, Kramer will lead it down the left wing, three on two for Hendrickson. They get it in the corner to Miller. Miller back to Kramer, who's knocked down by Philippe. 43 seconds to go. And now Philippe is going to go, uh, no, that's that's a delayed offside. <laughs> he ran into Como. I, I, yeah, I didn't I, think it was a penalty, but I thought the officials were going to call it. Yeah, the arm went up uh, for the delayed offsides right when the contact was made, so it looked like there might have been a call forthcoming. Harrington with loads of room, half a sheet of ice to skate it out. There's no forecheck whatsoever there. They get it over to the far side. Philippe in the right wing corner with 17 seconds to go. Philippe walks behind the net. He's wearing one of the Hendrickson players. That's Miller. And now coming in for good measure is Bryce Dolan as they double team Philippe. Good play by Goldstein to keep it in. They get it to Hopgood who just punches it out through the center ice area and the clock winds down to uh, no time remaining in the opening period and a uh, little bit of a flurry there in the last 30 seconds both ways Mark. Yeah both ways uh, you know real nice play there uh, by the Hawks as they got the puck down low and deep and threw it right to the front of the net and uh, you know there was a save made there by Kanata as uh, the puck uh, seemed harmless enough but there were bodies and skates and sticks and everything else out in front of him so he had to steer that uh, away so we'll uh yeah we'll tell you just quickly wrapping up uh, in the first period it was mostly mc in terms of shots we don't have a count but uh well in favor of the lancers uh the only score of the period paul and i gotta adjust gotta a little bit here, here right yeah step in here and around and through and all around and here we go <laughs> <laughs> how do you as, do as we were saying the recap there was only one goal in the period it belonged to Brendan White, uh, assist going to Botticelli and uh, Jack Adams. Great play by Botticelli to set that up. Yeah, super play by Botticelli there. And, um, you know, Botticelli obviously getting a chance at the very end of that period, too. We and if he doesn't get one later in the game, he yeah. might have a sleepless night tonight. But yeah, uh, it really that should line be. skated very well in that first period. Yeah, the line of Botticelli in the middle and White on the left and Adams on the right. Every shift out there, they created uh, opportunities. And, and that time it was a little uh, combination of the line. Thomas Albert was out there and laid it out to Botticelli right in front. And all he had was a, a six by four area to shoot at. And he missed the net. He'll be seeing that one in his sleep. Yeah, I think so. And like you said, one power play uh, for Mall to Catholic. Good, right. good power play. Uh, you know, yeah, and a good kill too, though. Important right. kill. Yeah, I think Hendrickson now is uh, they've gotten through a period one to nothing, and you know they, their best effort offensively is certainly still to come today. 
Uh, they didn't have it in that period, but Dumaney has kept them close. He, he had a great period, Cam Dumaney, the goaltender for Hendricken. Yeah, the senior goaltender. I mean, I, I counted at least 12 shots on net uh, for, for Malden Catholic, so Dumaney stopping 11 of those. And, uh, you know, the Hawks got to get it going offensively. Uh, you know, nothing wrong with the way Kanata played, but he only saw maybe two, three shots and right. uh, stopped everything he had to. But, uh, yeah. you know, the Hawks aren't going to win with the puck being in their own zone the whole period. Now, I'm kind of puzzled why they don't send a guy in to forecheck, but we'll see how that plays out. And uh, uh, there's good strategy. They're not 11 and 1. And, uh, and defending state champs or the three-time state champs in the last six or seven years for nothing. So uh, certainly we we'll look forward to the second period of play. After one from Malden, it is one to nothing, Malden Catholic. And uh, Mark should uh, shout out to our, our sponsors and people that helped make yeah, this happen today. Absolutely. Big shout out to the friends of Malden Catholic Hockey, uh, making all of this possible, as well as Sullivan Tire, our friends at Sullivan Tire, Mark Sullivan, hopefully out there watching us. Uh, we like it when Mark joins us. And staying then, out of the snow. Yeah, staying out of the snow. The Book 16 by Dr. Peter Drennan. Always good to see Dr. Drennan. I think we might see him next weekend out in uh, Springfield uh, as uh, Del Barton will be playing uh, Henrik in uh, Friday night. So we expect to be there. So that should be a good one. And also, don't forget, we've got the Sacred Heart game coming up tonight at 810. Art Egerton doing double duty here uh, up in Malden uh, behind the camera. And then also... Both sides uh, of the bridge and the Mystic well, River. That's right. And uh, we gave Pat the day off and sent him down to the Villanova women's basketball game. So that's where uh, Pat Serio is from SerioVideo.com. So we'll be back with the start of the second period momentarily. on that take a bunch tell Brooke to put them up I put I put, I put a poster up on the yeah I put some on the table I put a poster up on the board and uh, Barney comes over to me
Yeah, this one's not bad. The ball I did. That's cool. I don't care what anybody says. I've been in a ton of rings. That one seems cool to me all of a sudden. That new ice or something? Yeah, that new cheese that we shoot on, that's a second one. That's a new cheese. They, they just put that in, uh, like, last year. But they only had one ring for a while. Yeah. Actually, they put in... Too. There's a little one yeah. on the side too. It's from George. Yeah. It's good for uh, you know, stick, stick handling drills and stuff like that. And then the little kids. Like, you sure you want me? I said, it's better than listening to Mac in there a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, welcome back, everyone, to the start of the second period. Uh, Malden Catholic uh, leading this one one to nothing after one, but a good period to play there, Paul, and uh, certainly good goaltending down to our left here uh, by uh, Bishop Hendrickton. Yeah, uh, Cal Dumaney, uh he, he showed us a lot that period. He, uh, we were just saying before he came back that could have been two or three easily and add in the open net that they missed. I mean, it could be 4 nothing right now, and, you know, against a very good team. Uh, so, you know, Marlin Catholic certainly on their game today. And, and I think Hendrick and as I, as I kind of said at the end of the period, my feeling is that they probably said, hey, we, we got a long bus ride up here. We're playing a four time defending state champ here. And, you know, they're not chopped liver and we get out of the period and it's only one to nothing. And we've yet to play our best hockey. So. Yeah, and it looks like number 24 for Bishop Hendrick is uh, going to be out for the rest of the game. The defenseman, Stephen Dumont. Uh, not going to return today. Yeah, again, we didn't. We were talking about that. We didn't really see the play, and you know, a lot of times in front of the net, you run into somebody, and maybe your shoulder pops or something. So, you know, better to be safe. Shot off the stick of Harrington, 16 seconds into the period, and yeah, glove by Dumaney there. I think Harrington's got five shots alone on uh, on net here in this yeah. uh, early part of the game already. So, uh, Philippe and Miller on the draw. Philippe right back to Harrington. Another shot never makes it through this time. Harrington will get it again. It's the Pat Harrington shooting gallery. Swings it around the net to Philippe. Bounces it off the boards for Lawrence. Lawrence can't get full wood on it. And it's picked up by Hopwood here. Uh, Hopgood, I mean, uh, Andrew Hopgood. They get it into the MC end. Miller tries to backhand it down low. Philippe back there to work on uh, Miller. And now skating away is Lawrence up to Goldstein, who has uh, a streaking Philippe on the right wing side. Wrist shot well wide off the stick of Matt Philippe. Harrington will pinch and keep it in tight. Philippe looking. Philippe around the net. He slows things down, walks into the slot, lays it over to Harrington. Harrington will send it through a screen with Goldstein right there. Save by Dumaney. No rebound to play with there as uh, Goldstein skates it away now. Witkowski whistles it through the slot, looking for Goldstein. Lawrence over to Harrington. Shot blocked over there by Hopgood. Lawrence on the rebound. Two Lancers right in front. They don't get a shot off, and now behind the net, it's all MC here, early stages of the second period. Witkowski finds Philippe. Philippe, wrist shot blocked there by number six, Tim Poulin. Shula off the bench will pinch and keep it in low. Yeah, the Hawks need a line change, Paul. Oh, They're pinned they? in deep here. They need to ice the puck and try to get a, get a new uh, set of skaters out here. Lawrence Rister off the glass right onto the stick of Witkowski, who plays with it now, left wing corner. Lays it down low to Philippe. Philippe up to Witkowski, shot blocked by Kramer, and Kramer can't get it out. Nice play by Lawrence, and finally Riley Miller bounces it off the boards, and they It's a work long it change. Wow. Walden is going to take advantage of this. Here's Philippe in alone. Philippe, nice pass to Goldstein. It goes under his stick. Boy, they that was a, a two on none. On yeah, three on none. Goldstein long line Philippe change here for uh, the Hawks in the second period. Goldstein to Philippe. Philippe to Witkowski. Witkowski looks for Philippe. Right in front, and a shot and a goal, almost from behind the goal line. Wow. Boy, what a goal by Matt Philippe. We've seen him do a lot of uh, nifty things, but uh, that one he had to control twice and then uh, go up over the shoulder of the goaltender. You know, so uh, roofing what, that one. What a shift by that line for MC. I mean, they were headed to the bench to change but the defenseman kept keeping the puck in, so they had more shots at it. It was almost like a practice. That was, uh, I think that was a two minute and 17 second shift for uh, that line. I mean, all the pressure was down here. They didn't have to do any back checking at all. And uh, we got a penalty coming up here on Malden Catholic for a high stick. So, uh, so we got a high stick coming up. Uh, so first power play of the game is uh, Matt Shula will go to the penalty box. High stick in the uh, defensive zone, 12.35 remaining in the second period. So here's an opportunity for Bishop Hendrickson to try to find their way back into this game, trailing 2-0 early in the second. Yeah, so just uh, 2.17, eight seconds after the goal, making it 2-0. MC now will have to kill a penalty. They sent Botticelli and Walter out up front along with Yanakopoulos and Harrington. 
The uh, power play for Hendrickson will be uh, centered by Ryan King. He'll have Hopgood on one side and Milnes on the other. Back on the points for, uh, of the power play will be Camo, number uh, four will be the left defenseman, and number 23 will be Matt Ricard, the right defenseman. So we'll see if Hendrickson can. Uh, yeah, big opportunity for Hendrickson to get back right back into this game. Long shot through, saved by Kanata uh, off the stick of Ricard. Matt Ricard, 23, good shot there. Yeah, Kanata's deflection going about 600 feet into the stands, Paul. That was up over the net and well into the crowd in the bleachers. Ryan King for Hendrickson steps in to take the draw against Botticelli. MC controls. Harrington can't get it out. Ricard down low for King. King shot is blocked by Harrington. Ricard hustles over to keep it in. Takes a hit over there from Botticelli. They get it in deep. Yanakopoulos and uh, King fight for it in the corner. Hendrickson comes up with it. Milnes back to Ricard. Long shot through. Save Canada. Saw that one all the way. Milnes now behind the net for Hopgood. Centering pass right onto the stick of Botticelli for MC, who sends it the length of the ice with 54 seconds to go on the man advantage for yeah, Hendrickson. Yeah, the Hawks got to stay patient there, Paul. I mean, they're working the puck nicely. The player behind the back of the net all of a sudden just flipped it right back out front. Nobody there, nobody at home. Long shot up for uh, Waterman, but he can't control, and MC able to pick it up shorthanded and dump it in deep. Uh, Austin Goldstein sends it in, and Camo behind the net. Camo up uh, the left wing for Waterman. Waterman has it taken away by Philippe, who nearly hit Goldstein for a breakaway now. All the way out of his net into the corner is the goaltender, Dumaney. And Philippe intercepts, but takes it over the line with Goldstein still in deep, and offsides is whistled with 20 seconds to go on the Hendrick and man advantage. Yeah, great uh, penalty kill action there by Goldstein. Uh, down in the uh, offensive zone, and of course, Philippe also helping him out uh, behind. And uh... now, Alberts and uh, Corey Goldstein will come out to man the forward positions on the man uh, down for MC. And uh, Hendrick now with 10 seconds to go on the power play. Eric Edwards up for Brandon Waterman. Waterman trying to find Riley Miller, but pokes back, uh, bounces back onto the stick of. Eric Edwards, Edwards into the zone to Waterman. Nice pass across to number three, Dolan, who gets a shot off just as the penalty uh, time runs out for Malden Catholic and Kanata with a nice save at the end of the power play. Yeah, it looked like Dolan had a little bit of daylight there on the short side, but as you said, Kanata sliding over nicely and uh, taking that gap away, and uh, Dolan unable to find the back of the net, and uh, decent power play and a good penalty kill for uh, the Lancers. Yeah, good puck movement there right at the end as they... Uh, Move their feet and move the puck. Now a shot right off the faceoff by Patrick Kramer goes off the side of the cage. Good bid there for the Hawks. Harrington will try to slow it down for MC and skate it out of the zone. He's up the right side, over the red line, backhands it in deep. Chasing quickly is Cam Walter for MC and Kramer intercepts for Hendrickson and pitchforks it out to center ice. Yeah, Harrington, real, real impressed with uh, Kramer. He's only a sophomore, number 10. Uh, Good physical player, uh, heady player, uh, does moves yeah, the puck well. Not the biggest guy, but he, he does a good job now. A wrist shot off the post. Now we got Riley another penalty Miller. coming yeah. against the Lancers here. We're going to get a hooking call uh, against Malden Catholic. 10-21 remaining in the second period, and Hendrickson's going to go on their second power play of the game and second power play of the period. Yeah, Alberts is going to get it. It's going to come at 4:39. Yeah, it was one of those, you know, the skater had maybe one or two steps on him. He got the stick out there and around the around the waist, called for the hook immediately. And uh, Yeah, no question on the call, and it's sometimes you get caught flat-footed or whatever, and if you're not moving your feet, and again, it's very easy from up here, as we've said a million times. Ricard deep into the corner, cutting right for the net is Hopgood, and Hopgood... Able to get to it, but knocks it up into the uh, netting behind the net, behind yeah. the goal. And that one will come outside too, uh, as a, a true deflection right off of, uh, as you said, uh, Hopgood's uh, stick and over the netting. So faceoff coming outside with 122 remaining on the power play. Ryan King, number 11, pushes it forward, and now we're gonna have a tripping call on Philippe, I think. Wow, two-man advantage. Wow, two-man advantage here. Philippe called for the trip. Uh, with 10-10 remaining in the second period, and uh, 
Boy, I tell you, that was, uh, he called it with authority. <laughs> but uh, I tell you, I, I didn't see it. And uh, we're going to get a timeout here, I think, by, well, we're going to get a timeout by I Bishop Hendrickson. So Hendrickson uh, takes the timeout, uh, trying to retool. Big opportunity here for them. Huge opportunity. They've got a minute 20 of two-man advantage as uh, Philippe's penalty came just 10 seconds after the call on Alberts. And a two-man advantage, and the thinking here, Mark, has to be, hey, let's take the timeout now. We might be able to get two on this situation and tie things up here early in the second period. Yeah, Coach Kramer's got his boys circled around there, and, of course, he's got, uh, you know, number 10 ready to jump back out onto the ice. So they were uh, out there for the first power play and, uh, again, uh, like to get them a little bit of rest. But as you said, Paul, I think, more importantly, kind of set things up so that maybe they can get the two goals here uh, versus just scoring one power play goal, score uh, with the 120 remaining on the first penalty, and then uh, they'll have, uh, you know, depending on when they, if and when they score, they'll have some time left on the second power play. Yeah, they call, Hendrickson calls the two power plays, the green, power play gold and power play, power play green, and uh, they are missing uh, Steve Dumond, who's a member of one of those units, number 24, so... Ricard was stepping in in his place. This is, I, I think this is a little bit of a change here as this one has uh, number number uh, seven, Waterman, out there at center. They get it back to the point. They play catch, Edwards and uh, Dolan. Edwards can't get it over to Dolan. Uh, Dolan back to Edwards, tees it up. It's blocked by Harrington. Two-man advantage here for Hendrick and Dolan over to, uh, they get it on the far side of Waterman. That was uh, Edwards redirecting it and MC able to clear. Yeah, a little bit of a bouncing puck there uh, on uh, Waterman, so uh, unable to get a whole lot of wood on that. But, uh, you know, they set it up nicely. They're moving the puck around, but, uh, again, they got to stay patient. Riley Miller now, normally a center, sets up on the left wing, gets it over the line, leaves it uh, short pass for Edwards, who dumps it deep for Kramer. Kramer behind the net. Kramer trying to find Waterman far side, and he does. Gives it up to Edwards. Edwards to Dolan. Back to Edwards over to Waterman. The one-timer. It's loose in front. Turning around on it is uh, Riley Miller, and he can't get wood on it. And uh, Kanata able to keep the puck away from the goal line. Again, good puck movement there, and Kanata holding strong. A little bit of a rebound comes out there, but uh, Post comes off, and he gets a whistle here uh, with 27 seconds remaining on the first penalty, 38 remaining on the second. So still a big opportunity here for Hendrickson to maybe get two. Yeah, they trail it two to nothing. They're trying to at least get one here. Uh, Waterman will take the draw against... Looks like Witkowski will step in there for Malden Catholic. Yeah, these passes are just on edge, Paul. They're rolling a little bit on these shooters and uh, unable to really get a clean look. Waterman to Riley Miller. Miller to Waterman. Back up high to Edwards. Edwards back over to Waterman. Cross ice to Dolan. They've tried this play several times. Edwards to Waterman. The shot goes wide. I don't know if uh, Shula got a piece of it or not. We're down to 11 seconds on the first penalty. Long goal. shot and a goal by Eric Edwards. A power play, and they've still going to have a power play for another 18 seconds. Yeah, big uh, Eric Edwards. They've been looking to feed the senior a couple of times there. Number 22 finally getting a... Good, clean shot off uh, right at uh, dead center. And, uh, you know, again, I don't think Kanata ever saw that one. Uh, that one was through a lot of bodies. Might have even hit something on the way in. But uh, it looks like it's going to go to uh, Eric Edwards, uh, who was playing the point there, and he's a forward. So, uh, you know, uh, Coach Kramer uh, sending out four forwards on that line. Well, Edwards, uh, yeah, the center point. I mean, that was the play they tried several times. It was... Edwards and Dolan and Waterman, the guys who were handling the puck most of the time. They sent Riley Miller in on the right post, and they had Patrick Kramer on the left post. And uh, that time it paid off. I think uh, Kanata was screened, and Edwards just said, time's winding down, let's let it rip. Yeah, and so Albert uh, having to go back to the bench just to finish out his seven seconds, even though uh, they'll have four men on the ice. We're down to eight seconds on the Philippe penalty. Here's Adams, shorthanded chance here, offensive zone, Adams. Try to kill some time. He's pinned back there by Como. And uh, penalty to Philippe is over. MC back to full strength. It cost them one goal, that two-man disadvantage. Now Adams, a turnaround goes wide. Henrik now bounces it out of we'll the zone. Here's two a two-on-one. On one. One. Nice, nice play. Play by Lawrence there to knock it off the stick of number two, Sam Milnes. And he was never able to get the puck in front. Waterman now, nice play, but he meets uh, head on with Lawrence. White now leaves it over to Lawrence. Bounces off his stick. Ryan King with a move. King is in. 
and he goes by the net. A sprawling Kanata kept it from getting in front. Puck jumps over to Jack Adams near side. Over the red line, over the blue. Jack Adams sends it through a screen. Botticelli can't get a piece of it. Harrington way down low in from the point. Adams falls down now. And back on it there is uh, number nine, Alex Leet for Hendricken. Puck is bouncing crazy. Yeah, right over Dolan's stick. Dolan thought he was going to be able to clear that out. And the puck bounced right over his stick back into the corner here. So MC uh, putting a little pressure on now. Leet to Mitchell. Mitchell, uh, Leet now skates it out for Hendricken and will send it in deep. Mitchell on the go, but Kanata, nice job to intercept and leave it there. Harrington with a head of steam right up the middle out of the zone. Harrington, the wrister is off the uh, skates of Patrick Flanagan for a shift. Harrington does not ever turn down a, pa a shot, does he? His huh? arms are going to be tired from yeah, all the boy, shooting today, you. Pat Harrington. Goldstein behind the net to Philippe. Philippe watched by uh, Flanagan. Gets it back to Hopkins, long shot through. Witkowski can't get a piece of it as he tries to redirect it. Hendricken will get it out of the zone on the left wing side. Shula turns, sends it back in, but it does not get deep as Patrick Flanagan steps up and he's knocked down unceremoniously by Goldstein, Austin Goldstein, and MC will start out. Hopkins up for Witkowski, bounces all the way onto the stick of Eric Edwards who sends it in deep as Hendricken finishing a change with 6.41 to go. Yeah, nice job by Goldstein finishing his check there. Uh, that was a big play. They could have had numbers. Middle period of play, 6.35 to go. MC with a 2-1 to one lead. Hendricken has just started to climb back in it with a power play goal. They've not announced that, but I think it was Eric Edwards, as you said, Mark, and uh, it came at 6.02. It was a, a two-man advantage. Uh, it took him a while on the two-man advantage. Here's the announcement. Number 22. Eric Edwards, assisted by number three, Bryce Dolan. So the sophomore defenseman, Bryce Dolan, going to get an assist there. He's had a nice game. Bryce has uh, playing both ways very well here as a turnover. Kramer steals. Kramer, a nice hit by Walter to hustle back. As Kramer had a, a situation where he could have walked in. Lawrence now with it behind the net for MC. Four check there by Hopgood. Lawrence able to get it by Hopgood, but can't get it by Kramer. Kramer. Can't get it deep. Corey Goldstein trying to pick it loose now. Riley Miller turning. Can't get a shot away. Still has the puck, though. Miller skates away from Goldstein. Gets it in deep on the cycle to Kramer. Two uh, players from each team down there, and nobody really controls. Corey Goldstein can't move it up the boards. They finally get it back to the point. That's where they wanted it the whole time. Trying to feed it back there. A lot of open yeah. ice, but there come uh, the Lancers. Boy, Como, Como had a great... Look through a screen and uh, he let go a bullet, but Kanata made that save. Here's Cam Walter, two on three for the Lancers. Takes it cross ice. Walter in the middle for Goldstein, goes off his skates and skating away is Milness. Milness leaves it to Waterman. Waterman over the line, knocks it off the back of his uh, line mate, Ryan King, and up into the netting with 5.19 to go, second period of play, two to one, Malden Catholic. Yeah, nice body check there right in front of us by number 26, Nick Botticelli, uh, junior out of uh, Salem, Massachusetts, forward, all six feet of him uh, using his body well there, and the puck going up uh, over the net, face off at center ice with 5.19 remaining in the second period. Yeah, King on the uh, draw for Hendricken against Botticelli, a couple of left shots, a MC able to get it back to Matt Shula, Shula, nifty little Short pass up to White. White trying to find Adams up high. He does, but a good back check by Waterman to uh, prohibit Adams from getting off that wrister. He looked like he was ready to tee that one up. He was. It's amazing that a big guy like that could be standing all by himself uh, right in the middle of the slot there. But yeah, you, uh, don't, you don't miss him. You no. can't miss a guy like that. It's like missing Gronk for crying out loud. Adams with a nice feed from Botticelli and a good save by Dumaney, who hasn't been as busy this period, but he was equal to that one. Kanata leaves it behind the net for Yanakopoulos with a jump. Yanakopoulos in the middle. Yanakopoulos goes cross country over the other side, over the red line, and dumps it in deep. Dumaney will leave it there for Poulin. Poulin trying to find Mitchell up the left side. Leaves it in the middle for Leet. This is uh, Alex Leet. Takes a check from Goldstein there, and Shula on the puck, but can't get it by Leet near boards. Leet knocked down by Lawrence. A couple of number nines there. And Adams, this line's been out here a while. Adams to Botticelli over the line. Botticelli, wrister saved by Dumaney. He was surprised by that one. Boy, I don't think he saw that until the last second. It was on him in a hurry. Real good wrist shot right there. Philippe back to Harrington. Another shot for Harrington. It's loose in front. Adams still on the ice. Can't find the handle. 
Lawrence now sends it through a screen wide. Karam's off the backboards onto the sticks of a stick of Matt Philippe who leaves it for Harrington. MC's got about six guys on the ice right now, but yeah, they do. Timmy Poolin coming up large there, number six. Philippe with it in the middle of Witkowski right over the net. On it in the corner back there is uh, number 14, Clay Audette, and uh, Puck Dolan. jumps up. <laughs> Stolen smartly throws it into the netting. Boy, did they need a change there. A uh, lot of pressure by the Lancers with 3.36 remaining in the uh, I mean, second get, period, 2-1. to one. You get Witkowski and Philippe and Goldstein out there with good rest, <laughs> and they're coming out here, and, and you got Hendrick on the end of a shift, and it's just... You know, it becomes the uh, the Cam Dumaney show in that. Yeah, it does. He's uh, he's he's been up to the test thus far. That's for sure. Oh, it's off, off the, the post. post. He's in double figures on shots, no <laughs> question. Harrington has now equaled the Bishop Hendrick in uh, shot total on net. Witkowski gets it behind the net to Philippe, trying to work a play up the near boards, but Hendrick and able to work it out. Kramer now. Kramer trying to get by Lawrence. Can't do so. Boy, Lawrence. Great play by Lawrence there. They had a three on two. Yeah, great position by uh, Will Lawrence. Witkowski sends it in deep. Goldstein's about 30 feet in the yeah, zone. That one might come all the way down. Well, well you're going to put I, it just outside the blue line. I don't know why that one's not all the way down. You can't be any deeper and any more offsides than he was. But. I think Goldstein was thinking, maybe they won't see me. I mean, <laughs> yeah. that, was just, that was like Pulling a pond hockey. Pulling a Rosie right Ruiz there. coming out of the <laughs> bus there, I think. I don't know. Shula can't knock it out of the air, and he has to retreat deep into his own end. Riley Miller will forecheck there for Hendrick, and they get it around to Hopkins up the middle for Alberts. Quickly over to uh, Walter, headed to the net is Corey Goldstein. Oh, what a nice play by Walter, oh. and how did that not go in? Boy, I tell you, that just uh, Great might have been a rolling movement. puck a little bit. Albert not quite able to get all of his stick on that. Just directed it wide. Alberts in the corner, back to Shula, fakes the slap shot. Gets it to Alberts, halfway down the boards. He sends it around and picked up there by uh, number four, Jason Camo. He can't get it out. Walter, a slap shot. What a save by Dumaney, left pad. Boy, Dumaney's feeling it now, getting that left pad out there. And uh, you can see why both these teams are tops in their respective states. Uh, just great hockey, especially in the second period. Up and down we go, Paul. Icing waved off as uh, Goldstein and uh, number 22, Eric Edwards, get into it a, a little bit of a dance here. And, no harm, no foul. Here comes Hendrick and the, the clearing pass up to Waterman who backhands it in deep trying to find Milnes. Can't do so and King trying to forecheck it away from White and now Botticelli trying to walk through center ice can't do so. Milnes comes the other way for Hendrick and Milnes can't get it by Harrington near boards and finally Adams out there. Adams over to uh, White. They've got a three on two. To Botticelli, he had the high guy Adams trailing and he didn't see him. Ah, oh, you're right, Paul. Should have gone to the high guy coming in. Uh, would have had a nice opening and a nice shot on net, but uh, unable to do that. 133 remaining in the second. Lawrence can't keep it in as Waterman able to muscle it out over to Milnes. Two on two. Milnes tees up a long slapper blocked by Harrington. Milnes picks it up on the rebound. Ryan King loses the handle to Brendan White. White over to Adams. Back to White. Two on two. Classic two on two. White in the middle to Adams. A wrister saved by Dumaney. Boy, has he got quick legs there, Mark. He, he yeah, just he did does. that one like it was uh, routine, just routine. Yeah, they caught the Hawks on a slow change down here, too. Again, they had the long change. Lawrence, dangerous, <laughs> shot through a screen, took a, a hop and went right in on Dumaney. Now Goldstein trying to find Shula back on the line, but it jumps out of the zone. Lawrence now over the red and will clear it in as they've changed lines. Uh, the Philippe line back out there. Nice pass uh, right here. Hendrickson gets it to Hopgood, rink width to Kramer, walks in, and I think Shula got a stick he on that He did, that went right off of uh, the shaft of Shula's stick, and boy, that thing was looking top corner. That's uh, fortunate for MC there that uh, Shula was able to get his stick on it, send it up into the net. Mike, you've talked about Patrick Kramer, number 10, the, um, the right shot left wing. What a great move to go on his forehand in the middle, and boy, we had a great angle on that one, and if not for Shula getting a stick on it, we may be tied. Yeah, that one looked like it had eyes. So, uh, you know, Chula getting his stick in that shooting lane and uh, doing a nice job deflecting it up into the net with just 30 seconds remaining. Bryce Dolan knocked it in deep, but MC able to clear it out. Witkowski sends it far into the left wing corner and just like uh, automatic, Goldstein lays it down for Philippe, who's held back there. No call. And icing get an will icing be called here with 14 seconds to go. And I think Matt Philippe's going to ask the official what he was looking at there as he feels he was held. Over there, and uh, 
MC with an offensive zone faceoff with 14 seconds to go. It's Malden Catholic two, Hendrick and one near the end of the second period. Riley Miller trying to keep it away from Philippe, but they get it back to the point. Harrington threw a screen, it goes wide. Witkowski knocked down in front. Parker's loose whistle goes as yeah, looks MC like the net came off. Yeah, yeah the net, uh, net came off. I thought the puck might have been on the side of the net, but it's the net off the mooring, as you said, Mark, and it's outside the zone is the call with 7.0 left. Yeah, 7.0, but uh, I think both teams are uh, a little gassed here as we wind down the second period. A lot more intensity in this second period and a lot more physicality in this second period. Ryan King on the draw for Hendrick and uh, MC able to control down to two seconds. Harrington gets it over to Lawrence who will just hang on to it and uh, let time run out in period number two here in Malden where the score after two is two to one Malden Catholic over Hendrick and Hendrick came back. Uh, it was one nothing after one and uh, Malden Catholic scored early in the period at 217. Matt Philippe made it two nothing and then at 602 a, a two man advantage paid off for Hendrick and they were able to cut the lead in half off the stick of Eric Edwards and that's where we stand after two periods of play. Yeah, a big power play goal there for Hendrick and uh, we're going to have uh, John McLean join Mr. McNamara here uh, in between the second and third period. Here comes John. We'll come down to you. Hey, <laughs> Thanks for coming in here. And uh, I'm going to leave you with Mr. Mac. Right. Take it over. Well, we're back here from the Marlin Valley Forum. Paul McNamara along with Mark Igo is going to take a little bit of a break, and we're going to be joined by uh, John McLean from Marlin Catholic. Uh, normally we see him wearing number 20 out there. Today he's in uh, street clothes, and it's been that way for a couple of weeks, John. Yep. Uh, I broke my foot in a game, so I'm out. So it seems like you're moving a little bit better than, than last week or the week before, so things yep. hopefully are getting better. Yes, it's, uh, I'll be all right. Hopefully I'll be back soon. I mean, no word yet from the doctor. So uh, we'll... My teammates will fill my position in pretty well, I hope. Yeah, I'm sure uh, there are other things you can do to try to stay in shape. I know you yeah. can't skate, but you can you can maybe lift a little bit and yeah. maybe uh, just do some uh, some exercises to keep in shape. Yeah, physical therapy. Uh, I'm going to work out at Mike Boyles in North Andover and maybe Woburn, so they'll help me out with my uh, injury, and hopefully I'll get back soon. So, again, you guys, uh, you're used to going to the Garden and you're used to walking out of there last game of the season every yeah. year winning. Uh, it's a great tradition you guys have set up here, and uh, this year, obviously, the goal is the same, and and thus far through the season, we don't want to jinx anything. You're in a, it's in a tight ball game today, 2-1 to yep. one after 2, but, you know, a, an undefeated record is a good way to, to keep on course for the Garden. Yeah, hopefully we'll uh, keep that going still. Uh, I mean, nothing's promised. I mean, every team's good. We can't take it lightly. Like, Springfield's really good. BCI is very good. Like, anyone can beat us. Bishop Hendrickson's pretty good. <laughs> oh, yeah, Bishop Hendrickson's really good. They're, they're keeping in it. They always work hard, banging bodies. I mean, they're, they're a hardworking team. Well, a, a couple of things. I mean, uh, you have a very good relationship with your coach yeah. because you see him every day in, in, around the house, too, yeah. as well as your dad. And uh, he's done a very good job. We were talking between periods with some other folks about – keeping things on course and keeping it a team game. Yep. I mean, no no one person's, in, no matter whom the, who the stars have been over the years, yep. it's a team game and it's a yep. team goal yep. that you guys are working for uh, towards the end of the season and at the end of the season. And, and I think that shows game by game, you put to, he, he and the uh, athletic department have put together a great schedule. Yep. You know, we're talking about the Hendrickens and the, and the Cathedrals and Del Bartons of the world. Yep. I mean, that has to make you guys better players when you play that competition. Oh, yeah, most definitely. I mean, it's it makes us better as a team and as, like, a person ourselves. Like, I mean, we're a family all together, like, hold the rope. So that's something Sereno established when he was here, and we still follow follow that today. And, you know, we talk about the the outside teams that you schedule, but yep. there's no better conference than the Catholic Conference. I mean, every night is a, a battle in the Catholic Conference. Oh, yes, very, very. Uh, we had tough games against Severian and uh, BC High and CM. Uh, I mean, everyone works hard. No, no one quits. I mean, it'll be a tough game. Uh, Tuesday we play BC High, right? Yeah, BC yep. High's Tuesday in the makeup game from the snow. Yep. And, uh, you know, you just can't – even St. John's prep this year was – People said they lost a lot of guys. Oh, and, I forgot and yet, about St. John's. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I'm not going to let you forget yeah. about St. No, John's. They, you know that. They play but. hard, too. I know a couple kids on that team. They always work hard. Like Teddy McNamara, big kid, huge. Yeah. I, I played with him when I was a kid. He's an unbelievable player. Yeah, well, I mean, that, that's the other thing in the Catholic Conference. A lot of you guys know each other. You, 
you play on different teams and, and you see guys throughout the year and, uh, you know, you get a little more jacked up for those games as well. Yep. I mean, I missed the home game against St. John's Prep and I was kind of mad about that. I mean, I wanted to play in that. But it's my favorite game all year. I mean, big rivalry, so maybe next year. Not next year, but well, uh, hopefully. You, you won't, you'll see those guys for sure. Oh, yeah, definitely, yep. And the other thing is the, the conference every year, every team is, uh, has got a pretty good shot of getting in the Super 8. Oh, yeah. This year where it's, it's a little bit, you know, the, the pitch is a little muddied uh, down once you get beyond the, the top three on paper anyway. Yep. And it could be that every conference team makes the Super 8. Oh, yeah, hopefully. That will be great for the Catholic Conference in general. I mean, we could be bumped down. I mean, it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. It's all if you make the tournament. That's about it. Right. Yep. Well, John McLean, uh, thanks very much for stopping by. I know you've talked with us before, and yep. we always value your time, and, and certainly all our best to, to get you back to 100% health yep. and back on the ice. That's what it's all about. All right, yeah, thank you very much. My pleasure. Good luck yep. the rest of the year. Thank you. All right, John McLean from Mullen Catholic joining us here, and uh, his club leads it 2-1 to one after two periods of play, and... We're going to take a little break right here, and we are going to give John a, a, a copy of the book by Dr. Peter Drennan. That is uh, the book 16, one of our sponsors here at My Hockey Live. And, John, it's a good hockey story. You'll have fun reading it. Pass it around the locker room uh, of or, or on the bus. You. I will. Thank you. All right, we're going to take a little break right here. After two, it is Molly Catholic 2, Hendrick and 1. We'll be back with the third period after this. Thanks, John. Thanks, Thank buddy. you. We don't have suits to give out just yet, but it's yeah. a good book. <laughs> Thank you. How you feeling? I'm done with the race. It's a stop. First time. First time with a stop. Oh, it's part of the... on the Wi-Fi, so. Get any feedback from Hendrickson that they were gonna that they knew the game was on? And they, they did, yeah. Pat kind of actually crystal sent it to him, but uh, I I just got the coach's email address today. So he's a nice guy. We yeah. just like through here. He's like, oh, it's great. Thank you so much. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I said, well, maybe we'll go next Friday night. They're playing Del Bar in Springfield next Friday night. So does it is that a tournament? Is Hunter Springfield tournament?
All right, everyone, welcome back. Paul McNamara, Mark Igo, and Art Egerton uh, bringing this MHL production live from Malden. Here in uh, what a great game so far, Paul Malden uh, leading Bishop Hendrick in 2-1, uh, to one, but a big period there as uh, Hendrickson found themselves down 2-zip and were able to scratch and claw around that power play to get one back anyway. Yeah, I, I, I'm impressed the way they, uh, you know, they on paper, on ice, they were blown out of the building in the first period. But they only traded at one nothing, and they stayed in it, and they they fell behind two to nothing. But you know they're resilient. Just looking up and down their roster between periods, Mark, they're a young team. Not a lot of seniors. They're playing a lot of sophomores and a good number of juniors. I mean, this team is uh, they're young, and and they're. They, I think games like this against quality teams like Mullen Catholic, they're going to learn in the middle of games, and you can see them learning in this one. And uh, as we say a lot of times, on a two goal lead. A one goal lead right now the next goal is huge right here and and mc has missed two open nets you know and we, we were saying it could have been four nothing after one you know they could be ahead in this thing five to one but they're not it's two to one and it's anybody's game right now yeah senior goaltender cameron dumani making sure that it's only two to one boy has he played a great game he's seen a lot of rubber and uh certainly brian cannot has been up to the task as well the freshman goaltender getting the start tonight for uh the Lancers and uh, looking very good in there between the pipes. Yeah, he's uh, he's been where he's had to be. The only goal that beat him came through a screen. They were down two men. It was a high wrister from the point, and it was a great shot. You know, and they, you can't fault him for, for, you know, he's done his job. As well yeah, a lot more energy in that second period by both teams, a lot more physical plays, so we'll see how they come out here to start the third. Off the opening draw, puck loose in center ice, picked up by Hopgood for uh, Henrik, and Hopgood right in, and he fans on the shot. I think he might have lost it in the water there. Fresh sheet of ice, and MC able to clear it, but boy, this game could have been tied 20 boy, seconds Yeah, in. he had Kanata sprawling out uh, to try to take away that puck, and uh, like you said, I, I'm not sure uh, he was able to get anything on that with a little water out there in front of the crease. Quick puck, shift here. Puck launched into the, yeah, that, and that's probably a smart way to approach this is is get the boys going over the Well, over that the puck is just sticking to the ice. Uh, still a little wet out here, I think. Stepping up is Edwards. He gets it up to the line of Milnes. Milnes can't control, and Witkowski skates it away, gives it to Lawrence. It's not often that uh, MC has a line out there longer than their opponent, but this time it is true as uh, the, the Philippe line's been out there just about a minute, and uh, Hendrickson changed about... Yeah, Coach Kramer wanted a in. quick change there for whatever reason, and he got it. He called him right over to the bench, called his boys over, and got a new line out. Shula now trying to find Adams up the, the right wing, and good job over there by number six, Tim Poole, and one of the captains to pinch at center ice. Now giving chase is Goldstein. Shula will pinch for Malden Catholic. Adams behind the net, good leverage there using the big frame and able to skate it away, gets it down to Botticelli behind the net. Good centering pass to Shula, but blocked in front. Might have gone off his own player. Now it's loose in front, and Goldstein, a shot and a save by Dumaney. Uh, Austin Goldstein get caught out there on a long shift. Yeah, Goldstein, uh, yeah, like you said, a long shift, 13-25 uh, remaining in the third period. But uh, again, good opportunity there, and Dumaney just, you know, a wall right now. He hasn't given up uh, a whole lot since that second goal of the game early in the second period. Great look. Uh, by Botticelli to find Shula coming in right down, uh, as Bernie Corbett likes to say, right down central. And uh, got the shot off, but it was blocked in front. Nice pass by Botticelli, who set up the first MC goal. Adams redirects it in deep, giving chase is Bryce Dolan, number three for Hendrick, and he's double teamed there. Brendan White able to come up with it. White bounces it off the boards for Shula, through a screen, looking for the far post, and Dumaney on his knees, able to uh, set up. Yeah, trying to look around there. the tree. Yeah, yeah. Adams just just cemented right there, anchored right in the crease, top of the crease, and Dumaney just doing everything he could to try to look around him and then found that puck in his skates and uh, covered it up nicely. So, again, uh, he's been a uh, real, real stellar performance in that for him today. Face off to the right of Dumaney. Uh, MC with a chance in front. Uh, Goldstein. Corey Goldstein tried to jam it. It went around the far post. Alberts tried to center it. It went through the, the crease area and the slot area. This is Cam Walter walking it back towards his own point. Turns around, sends it down deep. Alberts in front. Alberts trying to find Corey Goldstein. Goldstein turns. He knocked down Leet and picked up the puck and turned and got a good wrist shot off that Dumaney yeah, yeah. made the save on. 
Going to get an icing here, but a good icing is uh, Dumaney just continues to keep his team in this game. He never saw that shot, but he was down square to the puck. Perfect position. Puck came right off his left shoulder at the last second. And, and, uh, and now, uh, interesting, Mark, uh, Coach McLean says, okay, we're going to short shift. And by the way, here's our fourth line. And Wren is out there now, fresh legs with Sullivan and DeMichaelis. Wren able to get it back to Shula. Shula sends it back down towards Wren. Sullivan trying to get uh, leverage there on Poulin. Poulin and uh, Tom Sullivan fight. Now it goes back to Shula, right point. Shula through a screen. It's loose in front, redirected Sullivan right there in the crease. Well, it doesn't matter what line Coach McLean sends out here. MC is on fire right now. Sean Wren now circles, finds Hopkins open. Hopkins through a screen. I think it went off the shin pads of uh, Riley Miller. Now a wrist shot by Wren, saved by Dumaney. It's loose and finally Hendrick able to clear. Kramer tries to send Hopgood away. Hopgood trying to get by Shula there and Hopkins for uh, MC just lifts it out into center ice area. Yeah, a few bodies falling around on that shift. Uh, 11.35 remaining in the third period. Two to one, Malden Catholic. Jason Camo sent it in deep, but Wren skates it out for Malden Catholic, trying to find Sullivan. At that point, you gotta get that in deep and change. Hendrickson able to get it back into the MCN. Good forecheck by Milnes, but he can't take it away from uh, the MC defense. Harrington gets it up to Sullivan. The redirect for Philippe, hopped over his stick, and now Harrington gets it to Philippe. Philippe on the go, one on two. Now it's a, oh, what a move by Philippe, but he can't get by. Uh, Philippe trying a nice Edwards. nifty little toe drag there, but unable to get by the big defenseman. Good play by Edwards. He has the goal for Hendrickson, and uh, made a nice play there on Philippe. Milnes can't get it in deep as Goldstein tries to shuttle it through center ice, but Jason Camo steps up, sends it into the MC, and Lawrence now trying to find Philippe near side. Leet trying to pick it up for Hendrick, and instead it's uh, Eric Edwards. Edwards bounces it off the glass, picked up by Witkowski, but uh, we're going to get a hand pass. They're going to say Lawrence hand passed it, and Witkowski picked it up. Yeah, I think those are two names that uh, they're going to be calling in the NCAAs and not too uh, long. They're Eric Edwards, uh, one of the few seniors on uh, this Hawks team. Uh, big body out there playing a great game. And, of course, Matt Philippe already committed to Northeastern uh, University, but uh, two very, very good players there, Paul. Yeah, Edwards just stayed right with Philippe. Philippe made a great move, almost a slalom move, trying to split the D there, and Edwards moved laterally very well. Didn't have to get a piece of him, just knock him off a little bit. MC on the four check, Brendan White, who's had a pretty good game here, number 14 behind to Botticelli. Adams wide open in front. Botticelli now throws it on net. Dumaney steers it behind the net. Botticelli cycles to Adams. Adams with some room, creating room. Back to Yanakopoulos through a screen. Blocked by Bryce Dolan and cleared. Nice play by Mitchell to turn around and leave it for number 14, Audette. Audette trying to get down the far side. What a hit by Shula. And Adams breaks out with White, two on two. White uh, with speed. White down the right side of his shot, saved by Dumaney. Yeah, Dad, very slow getting up to his feet and skating back to the bench. That was a big hit, good clean hit, but big hit along the boards there. And number 14 uh, goes back to the bench, wincing a little bit there. And uh, again, another save by Dumaney. Yeah, Dumaney closed that angle very well on White. White on his off wing, made a nice move to get around Edwards and get a shot off. Face off in the Hendrick and end and body sprawl for the moment here. Corey Goldstein has his stick held and there's gonna be a penalty call here on Hendrick and they're gonna get a holding call right in front of uh, the official here. It's gonna come at 520. Yeah, big penalty. Game. It looks like it's gonna be Eric Edwards uh, going to the box. Maybe a long shift there, stuck the arm out and grabbed him. And uh, like you said, 940 remaining in the third period. Big opportunity here for MC to possibly uh, put this one away as a uh, one goal lead has been uh, certainly tough to overcome, but two goal lead could be difficult. So they send out a little bit different look. Uh, we saw this last time, Philippe on the right point with Harrington on the left point. And up front it's uh, Corey Gold uh, Austin Goldstein with Witkowski and Big DeMichaelis now camped out in the crease. Harrington walks to the middle, tees it up. Kramer with a block, Philippe on the rebound up high. Not sure where that one ended up. Yeah, I think that... Uh Witkowski back to Goldstein. To Michaelis in front of the net. I think that went off his body. Philippe over to Goldstein. Cross ice. What a goal. Witkowski. You call it a one-timer? That's a half-timer. That is a half-timer and absolutely nothing Cameron Dumaney could have done on that one. Boy, I tell you, that was a split-second feed across and wasting no time as Witkowski putting that 
in the back of the net on the power play. So a big power play goal there for the Lancers. 102 remained on the uh, penalty. So, uh, again, wow, that uh, thing was in the net. That was a laser. Split second. And he was just camped out there. And uh, good job by DeMichaelis to, to keep Domaney's uh, attention there right in front in the crease. I mean, that's why he's out there. Yeah, and the officials explaining uh, to Coach Kramer that in uh, Massachusetts uh, MIA hockey, uh, they have to serve out their penalty, even though uh, obviously they'll skate five on five, but he's got to stay in there for the 102 that remained on his uh, infraction. Think, you know, I think uh, Coach Kramer's using that opportunity uh, as an excuse to get some more thought thoughts into uh, the heads of the officials there because it was more than just, oh, okay, he has to stay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dumaney's played a great game, and he just there's no way he had any chance on that one. As Witkowski just never blinked on that one and one timed it. And great setup by Goldstein. 45, 49 in the third period by number 12, Matt Philippe, assisted by number seven, Austin Goldstein, at 5:49 in the third. I think they get that one wrong. It's Witkowski from Goldstein and Philippe is yeah. the way it should read, but nonetheless, it's three to one MC and a little bit of breathing room here with 8:45 to go. Harrington now trying to find Adams on the far side. Can't connect, and it bounces off the boards and goes behind the net here, and Hendrickson will start out here. Ryan King off the boards looking for uh, number seven. Boy, Waterman. he had Waterman all by himself behind the defense and unable to get that pass through cleanly. Waterman would have been off to the races. Poolin can't clear as Lawrence will close and can't get it in deep, so uh, Hendrickson is able to clear now. And, Audette, good to see him back out there. He was shaken up a little bit on that check, but Clay Audette back out there, number 14, for Hendrickson taking his regular shift as Botticelli, four checks hard in the Hendrickson end. Watched over there by Brandon Mitchell. Mitchell trying to muscle it up the boards, but Walter, Cam Walter, number 13, Ooh, now shuts play down there uh, and, uh, the Hendrickson player, Flanagan, and Flanagan now will try to get a little, uh, a little back in the as he tries to uh, put a hit on Botticelli but can't catch up to him there. And Botticelli with it in the left wing corner back to Shula, Matt Shula. The turnaround falls short and uh, Botticelli is, has to head to the bench as he is dog tired after a good strong shift. Hendrickson now comes the other way. Mitchell run into the boards by Matt Shula. Hopkins will hit Audette behind the net. Yeah, nice job by Shula finishing his check there, Paul. Audette tries to cycle down, no one there except MC and then Hopkins Muscles it off the boards near side, and Walter picks it up there. Sends away Corey Goldstein quickly, trying to get around Poolin. Goldstein swinging away at it, trying to get it in front of the net. Goes to Thomas Alberts. Alberts up the boards, trying to get it back to Hopkins. Hendrick able to take it away and clear. That's Hopgood trying to find Mitchell on the far side. But quickly, MC gets it back. Hopkins off the stick of Cam Walter. Yeah, Chula beating his man to the puck again. Uh, MC with just that little extra giddy up uh, right now than Hendrick and has. Chula plays catch with Hopkins. Hopkins trying to find Cam Walter. This line has to get off. They've got a good shift, but they've been out there a while. And uh, Hendrick is going to sh uh, change in a minute too here. It looks like as Riley Miller started to head to the bench. Now he's back out there and MC with it in their own end. Now Albert trying to work it through the stick of Andrew Hopgood. Knocks it out of his hand. Yeah, both teams seem to be in need of a change, but neither coach really calling for them. Oh, MC's going to go off, and uh, they still only, they actually only had four guys on the ice. Yeah, what <laughs> so, a smart play, though, by uh, yeah. Goldstein to step back into the bench. And now Goldstein right through the defense. He didn't have full, full control of it, but he was able to get the puck to the net. Yeah, he was. He actually got a shot on net there as he was taken down uh, behind the back of the net. And... Just to go back for a minute, Corey, uh, Austin Goldstein was coming on the ice as uh, Cam Walter was headed off, and smart play. Goldstein stepped back into the bench area because the puck was right there and it was going to hit the, the skate of Walter, and if they both are on the ice, that's a, a too many men on the ice penalty. So smart heads-up play by Austin Goldstein. Face-off control by Ryan King for Hendrick, and hammering it around the boards is Jason Camo trying to work a right-wing breakout, and... Uh, King trying to pick it loose and get it out of the zone. He's got Milness with him, but finally able to get it is uh, Waterman. Waterman over the line. Lawrence goes to his knees to try to block the play for Waterman, but Waterman loses control, but still working towards it in the corner. Yeah, you can Center see Hendrickson starting to take a little more uh, 
chances here. Uh, two floaters out at center ice uh, trying to get behind the defense for a quick breakout. They're going to need a quick goal here. 5.34 remaining in the third period, and the Hawks down by two. Uh, Lancers uh, controlling this one right now, Paul. And we have a ceiling hitting. Yes, we finally, yes, we got a ceiling. The over-under right. is hit. It's five, 5.34 to go in the third period. It's MC 3-1, to one, but our first ceiling hit of the day. Face-off in the MC end. Uh, Mitchell trying to get it back to Bryce Dolan, but jumps over the line. Dolan sends it back in where Kanata will leave it for Shula. Boy, they don't like to forecheck on that, Paul. I don't know. Uh, different, different style of play, I guess. Uh, make them carry it out and see if you can get the turnover. Brendan White in the corner takes a hit from Bryce Dolan. Able to get it to Adams. A quick turnaround shot saved by Dumaney there. Hendrickson trying to muscle bodies in the end, and finally they poke it out. That's Alex Leet. Good job by Yanakopoulos to come over. Yeah, Yanakopoulos uh, disrupting what would have been a two-on-one, so a real nice play there by big number 44. Here's Adams. It seems like the stick's been on his, uh, the puck's been on his stick a lot today. Seems like he's been on the ice a lot today. Yeah, and, and with Brendan White as well, and White muscled up there by Alex Leet, one of the captains, number nine, and Leet has it again as White is just flailing a, on Alex Leet. And Whoa. now uh, 14, Clay Audette trying to go cross ice. We're going to get a penalty call here, I believe. Slash on number nine, uh, Alex Leet. Oh, we're going to get matching. So we're going to get matching uh, matching penalties here as Leet uh, for uh, Brenda White, Bishop. Maybe. And uh, White matching five on five, uh, 430 remaining. So we'll keep our... Uh, Keep an eye, our eye down here to the left of uh, Dumaney and see if uh, Coach Kramer wants to pull him early with uh, down two goals, two goal deficit. Uh, might see him head to the bench uh, somewhere around the three minute mark, Paul. We could. I mean, that, again, uh, different coaches have different philosophies. And uh, like you said, oh, there's a steal in front. A oh, shot. What a save, save by Kanata off the stick of Kramer. In the net, it's I loose. Think. And, you know, I, they're I gonna think, call that a I goal. Think I think Hendrick can touch the puck in the crease. I, I don't. I don't think he can do that. Uh, let's see what he's going to call that here. That situation. puck was rolling right across the goal line. And, uh, yeah, you're right. It looked like a Hendrick can play was. I mean, an MC guy can't touch it. That's a penalty shot. But a Hendrick guy touching it in the crease normally results in a, a whistle. And now somebody's Nin being whistled to the box. Yeah, here. looks like number 19, Riley Miller, the junior forward, is uh, going to be called for a roughing penalty here. And that's a, boy, that's a bad penalty. 418 remaining in this one. And, uh, boy, tough call. Uh, a lot of action out in front of the net. Uh, looked like a scoring opportunity for the Hawks, and uh, they're going to the take a penalty. A roughing call a roughing, on, uh, yeah. Yeah, on uh, Miller, number 19, the junior forward. Uh, maybe a little frustration uh, leading to that roughing as uh, the puck was sitting on the on the uh, goal line, as great, you said, Paul. Yeah, great play by Hopgood to intercept that number 21 and create the scoring chance. He got it over to, I think it was Miller or Leet, one of those two, 9 or 19. Hi, it was Miller. Leet's in the box, right? Yeah, it was Miller, and uh, Miller just uh, missing that opportunity, not by much. MC on the power play again, this new look with Philippe on the right point, and they've got Witkowski down low right, Harrington on the left point, Philippe walks to the middle, down to Witkowski, over to Goldstein, almost a reversal of rolls from the last goal. Yeah, kind of changing it up a little bit, but this is a big time must kill for uh, the Hawks. Philippe walks to the middle, looks, shot through, he can't get it through the stick of Kramer. Witkowski can't get it through uh, Como. Yeah, good block by Como there. Philippe plays catch with Witkowski. Watches, 32 to go, no rush. And now Witkowski's pass goes by Matt Philippe. Yeah, it gives the Hawks a chance right. to change up a little bit. They were getting a little fatigued there down in their own zone. 22 seconds remaining on the uh, power play from Alden Gothic as uh, precious seconds tick away here. Philippe will start up the middle with a lot of ice. Over to Witkowski. Goldstein is headed to the net from our left. Centering pass right in front. Goldstein oh, on the doorstep. What a save. Boy, I tell you, Dumani has just played very well here today. Yeah, what a great. big save there. What a nice pass, too, though. Great yeah, feet across. Witkowski just held that just long enough, and Goldstein was going about 900 miles an hour to that goal. Shula now penalty over for <coughs> Riley Miller from <clears throat> Hendrickson, so team's back at full strength here, but we're down to 2.33 to go in the hockey game and uh, a two-goal lead for MC at 3-1. to one. Lawrence now sends it all the way down the dasher to Jack Adams. Adams trying to skate away from uh, 
Number three, Bryce Dolan. Now Mitchell will uh, check on Alberts in the corner. Mitchell trying to poke it away from Alberts. They send it behind the net to Adams. Adams and Dolan again, the dancing pair there. Boy, Henrik can unable to come up with the puck at all. I don't even think they've touched it here. Shula now uh, goes as a pass to Adams. He tries to walk out in front and jam it, but Dumaney right there on the post, but Adams still Under with two minutes, it should be desperation time here for the Hawks, and uh, this is kind of standing still a little bit. This is as close to a four-corner offense in hockey as you're ever going to see. Yeah, putting on a clinic right here is Adams in the corner, just dangling and killing clock. And Shula now can't get it deep, and Hendrick able to muscle it out, and we got some uh, a little sword fight going on here between Audette and Adams. Yeah, Ising is. Lumber. Yeah, Ising called on that one, and uh, faceoff coming all the way down in the zone. Hendrick already had used that timeout earlier in that second period when they had the two-man advantage. So uh, they're going to have to crank it up here. One thirty-eight. They got to get two goals somehow. Miller now will take the draw for Hendrick uh, against Philippe from Malden Catholic in the Hendrick end. Faceoff controlled by nobody. Kicked out into the slot area, and Hendrick able to break it out. Kramer now <clears throat> over the red line, backhands it in deep. First on it is Hopgood, and Mark, as, as you say, the uh, goaltender Dumaney still sitting in the crease. No move at all to, to make a move. Yeah. Maybe they're trying to get a face off, but <clears throat> MC's not going to tie it up in their own end. Yanakopoulos now far side. Hopgood trying to four check on him. It's Hopgood turnover. It, walks into the crease. Now the goalie is out. The goalie goes to the net. And boy, that was a, a great opportunity there. As Milnes is out in the play. Six skaters out there for Hendrick. And one minute to go in the third period. A two goal lead for Malden Catholic. Winchowski can't get it out. Centering pass by Hopgood to Milnes. Milnes a oh, shot. What a serve. by Canada. Oh boy, Milnes is going to be seeing that one again in his sleep tonight as he rocked right in and uh, Kanata sprawling out of that net. He likes to come forward on that puck, getting the big mid up there and uh, collecting the putt there in his glove. A faceoff coming to his left with 50 seconds left, but. Shot to save by Kanata right off the draw. Kramer with a wicked wrister. Yeah, Hendrick can get their chances here. Boy, I tell you, they're bringing it. Uh, they got an extra skater on the ice, as you said, Paul, and uh, won that faceoff, and Kramer went right to the net with that one. Kanata, just a freshman. And now MC's going to call a timeout yeah, here. And good talk timeout things by over. Coach McLean. Absolutely, their boys were uh, getting tied up a little bit there in their own zone, and uh, Kanata coming up large there, as you said, the freshman uh, showing why he's getting the start. Two great saves. I mean, one is as the the original uh, process in the play uh, made a great stop, and then that one off the faceoff, they were able to get it back to they worked the play with the extra guy and Kramer, the right shot came uh, through the circle and got off a great wrist shot that Kanata made the save on. Boy, Coach McLean's gonna love the gonna love the dilemma he has with three goaltenders that are just playing unbelievably well right now. Usually we see a rotation of uh, Reese's and Casey and uh, now he's got Kanata in the mix here against uh, an opponent that is uh, one of the tops in the, yeah, well certainly good. the top in Rhode Island and one of the very tops in the team. country. Yeah, sure. I mean, the, the, the biggest thing about uh, Henrika that I've been impressed with so far, first time seeing them live, is uh, obviously the goaltender, but also the, their, their competitiveness. You know, they, they, yeah. they've just never given up. They worked hard. They, obviously, the, the first period was not the best they've had all year, but they were only behind one or nothing. They stayed right in it, and they've worked really hard. And, and they've got some talent over there, and they're young. And, they uh, are young, yeah. they got uh, certainly a lot of talent over here, and uh, we can see why they're 11-1. and one. Riley Miller now on the draw with Matt Philippe. Puck is down, it's loose, controlled by nobody. Leet can't get it, Milnes centering pass, and Kanata covers it up at the post. Boy, big play by Kanata to control that puck, make sure there's no loose pucks as there were three, uh, three Hawks standing right there in the crease, and Kanata just uh, looking up at that clock, 41.2, and he's, uh, he's earning his keep here now. Miller trying to kick it wide, it goes onto the stick of Will Lawrence, who wings it around the boards for Witkowski, but Good job by Milnes to get it back to Dolan. Dolan through a screen, it's loose. And uh, out of the reach of Kanata, but they're able to knock it to the line. They can't get it out as Como keeps it in. Yeah, it's Como, loose. nice job. But Kanata, again, the story here in the final waning seconds of this game, just stopping everything. Hopgood gets it behind the net. They can't get it back out front. And now it jumps to the line, and nice play by Como. He turns and fires through a screen off the pads of Philippe. It's loose in front, and Kanata covers up with eight and a half seconds to go. 
Why, then Kanata has seen more shots on net here in the final minute than he saw all game, and uh, up to the task is the young freshman goaltender making save after save, and Hendrick and wondering what they need to do to put the puck in the back of the net. Well, they've gone to five forwards now. The only defenseman out there is Bryce Dolan. As Camo will come off, and onto the ice comes Ryan King, the left shot center. He takes the face off with Botticelli. It's tied up. Adams trying to get it out of there. And uh, finally, Lawrence skates it over the line and out of harm's way. And That'll that's going to do it. What a finish. Yeah, what a finish as uh, Malden Catholic remains undefeated. And they were tested here today, Paul. Uh, took all of... Uh, all the three periods to decide that one, no question about it. Yeah, there have been some games and Walden Catholic has won three to nothing and one to nothing that, that weren't nearly as close as this one. A three to one game, but uh, a great effort by both teams. And as we said, really, the first period, just Hendrickson with a little bit of a slow start and and they trailed at one nothing. But uh, after that, it was, you know, it was anybody's hockey game here and uh, a good win for Walden Catholic as they, they showed some good uh, tenacity there defensively in the last minute uh, from about 50 seconds left and uh, were able to hang on and uh, post a two goal win over out of state rival Bishop Hendrick and Hawks. Yeah, Hendrick and uh, now dropping to 11 and two, but uh, what a what a performance uh, coming on the road here. Matinee, uh, long road trip and a little bit of snowy weather out there and a uh, little, little slow start in the first period, but maybe the best second period of hockey I've seen all year uh, as both teams really went at it and uh, Malta Catholic able to hang on to a 2-1 to one lead coming out of that period but uh, just a great game, great goaltending and uh, you know, yeah, Dumanis good. Dumanis very good, one of the best goaltenders we've seen this year the kid from Hendrickson and and by the way kudos to Brian Canada, the freshman Malta Catholic's third goaltender who played a very good game here especially uh, as time was winding down and uh, he was able to keep things uh, in check for Malden Catholic and post the victory. Yeah, boy, I tell you that uh, last flurry at the very end of that game, uh, Kanata, you know, up to that point, not tested, uh, you know, throughout the game, but, you know, tested uh, in the second period. But at the end of that third period, boy, he really had to uh, had to bring it. We've got a loose bench here, so. Yeah, yeah, I've got loose benches everywhere. So I know I, I like my job, Paul, and uh, you know, I, I don't like it that much. <laughs> but uh, again, uh, Art Egerton uh, behind the camera for us yeah, here Art, today. Great job, thank you very great much. Great job by Art. Great he's job. he's gonna be heading down to the Sacred Heart game tonight, so uh, you're gonna be able to get your fix of uh, high school hockey from all across the state of Massachusetts as we come to you. Uh, from Malden here and then uh, back at you at the bog down in Kingston, Massachusetts at 810 and uh, you'll have a whole new uh, team down there with Jake Levin uh, calling the play-by-play -play down there. But uh, just, uh, you know, we expected a good game here, Paul, and we got one. Yeah, great uh, Rhode Island, Massachusetts matchup and, uh, you know, Hendrickson's very impressive and uh, a long bus ride up, but uh, they're facing one of the top teams in Massachusetts. They played Springfield Cathedral. You know, they, they know the... Uh, they know the neighborhood when it comes to playing uh, top teams in Massachusetts, and they were equal to uh, to a great performance today. They don't come out of here with a victory, but, boy, uh, they impress a lot of people, and uh, it's great to have competition like that. Yeah, absolutely, and uh, so we'll be back with Malden Catholic on Tuesday night against BC High, which, again, will be another great one. Uh, Big Catholic Conference so rivalry, uh, BC High and MC over UMass Boston. I think that's a 5 or a 5.15 start. 5.15 start, so an early start, so you can watch it from work. That's uh, right. On yeah. MHL, uh, myhockeylive.com. So, uh, and, and Mark, we're going to remind people over the next three or four weeks, there's going to be wall to wall coverage almost every night. Once the tournament starts, we'll be covering games. So, you know, make sure you, you check into myhockeylive.com and for the best uh, and, and, and sign up and, and talk to people about getting your town's games, your team's games on uh, for the best in high school hockey as we head uh, down the stretch and into the tournament. Yeah, our, we've already streamed over 50 games. We'll be down in Falmouth next weekend, which is always a great tournament, and uh, you'll be able to enjoy that one as well. But uh, anybody interested in having their games uh, streamed, info at myhockeylive.com. We'll make that happen, but uh, let us know uh, as soon as possible. As Paul said, uh, schedule is filling up. we got two today, and uh, we'll be back with you on uh, Tuesday night uh, from uh, Boston College High School. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, everyone. Once again, final score for the final time. It is Malden Catholic 3, Bishop Hendrickson 1. Thanks for watching My Hockey Live. Thanks, Art.